Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a Shop With Me Sunday and um, it's more exciting than I anticipated. We're gonna have a look around the new Flannels Beauty Store, which is exclusive to Meadowhall in Sheffield right now. I think that's the first one that they've done. I don't know whether the plan is to do more, um, but several of you requested that I do a little shop with me to show you around. I honestly wasn't even that interested myself. I wasn't super excited about flannels as a store and the fact that it was relocating to the House of Fraser location. Um, I wasn't massively excited to go and visit. Um, I changed my mind almost immediately. So thank you to those of you who sent me there because it felt like going on holiday. It feels like a totally different shopping experience from the moment you walk through the door. There are no windows out into the rest of Meadow Hall. And so it's very kind of um, like when you're in, you're in. It feels very American. And I would say somewhere between like um, a Sephora and a Selfridges. And just, I can't explain. I just wasn't expecting it. And I walked in and thought, wow, it does. It really truly does feel like you're on holiday. It feels very, very different. There were lots of brands that I hadn't actually seen in the flesh before. Ricky was one of them. I actually have one of these Ricky mirrors, but I've never seen them in a store. I bought mine online through FabFitFun. Um, and then they've got all of these. This is so Sephora these little areas. And I remember being excited when Boots started doing something similar to this. And Debenhams had a moment, and I know, you know, RIP Debenhams, but Debenhams had a moment where they were doing things like this as well. And it feels like flannels have taken all of those elements and just made them better. The first thing I thought when I saw the Natasha Denoa stand was, I can't wait till we can get testers back. Because I've heard so many good things about this, but <laughs> Natasha Denoa is really, really expensive. Anyway, I was trying to work out like, well, I wonder when, and then I saw testers. There were actually a few across the store for different brands and although testers are not always essential, especially when you're talking about something so expensive, it's really, really nice to play with the product in person and it's just, you know, nice to see a bit of normality again. On the opposite end of that spectrum, Jouet had very, very little kind of, in terms of a display, it was just the boxes, but I was happy to see the brand because I don't see it very often and again, funnily enough, I have ordered some stuff through my FabFitFun this season um, and one of the things is Lip Shine, which they had here. Beauty Bakery is another brand I think I've only ever seen online. I know that Boots stock it, but it's a little like the Lime Crime that we're gonna see in a second. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I've actually seen it in store. I could be wrong, but both of these were really, really fun. This stand was very colorful and lots of testers. Speaking of fun and colorful, another brand that is new to me uh, is Uoma. Uoma? please someone tell me how to say this. I was particularly taken with the colorful lids for their base products. I thought it would probably really cut down on trying to find your shade when you were repurchasing it if you couldn't remember what it was called. I just thought it was really, really fun. I am less excited about brushes since Boots now have such an amazing selection, but it's nice to see them. And there are certain brands that I would have missed um, since Debenhams and House of Fraser both closed in Meadow Hall recently. And Laura Mercier is one, even if it's only for their uh, gourmand uh, skincare and body care. I mean, <laughs> the Ombre Vanille is my absolute favorite. And if you can walk past the Laura Mercier bath and body section without spritzing that on yourself, you're a stronger person than I am. MAC is another brand that I'm not massively excited about these days, but I do like to see their special Christmas collections and things in person. And it would feel like something was missing. Um, Morphe, again, th that's already in boots but it's nice to have um, a real mix of budgets because I did expect from flannels for it to be only super, super high end. And there are some more affordable brands in there. Charlotte Tilbury, so massively popular, not one of my favorites. I get re requests for review quite often. And I never really find anything that I love. Um, NARS, there are occasional products that I love from there, but again, quite basic, a little bit like Mac for me, nice to have, but not essential and um, this shot was just really to show you the skincare range, uh, or rather the skincare section. That again, it just doesn't it feel Selfridges-y, Selfridges-y, harrods -y, that kind of thing. They have truly thought of everything that you could possibly need for wellness, um, and I don't think there's really anything that you could want that they don't sell. It really is such a shame that our Debenhams closed, I mean, not all the Debenhams closed, but ours specifically had had a massive renovation of the beauty hall in the last few years. And they'd made this big departure from just counters to these kind of walls of products and walls of categories like skincare, hair care, where they mixed up the brands. And the whole experience was a little bit more open and a little bit less 
pressured and you didn't feel like someone was going to pounce on you all of the time. You were just able to kind of browse a little bit more at your leisure and not feel quite so intimidated. You didn't feel quite so much like someone was going to be always on you. Um, and actually one person approached me the entire time that I was in flannels. Uh, and that was when I was at a specific beauty counter. But the whole time I was walking around, it was just completely chill. No one was bothering me. Um, even though I was walking around clearly filming things, um, I was just kind of left alone, which I particularly enjoy. And I think most of us like that shopping experience a little bit more now. I read about this afterwards and they're calling it the world's first beauty changing room. So theoretically, you can take things in here and try them on in the comfort of your own changing room. In what world? I mean, this blew my mind completely. And the, <laughs> the lighting in there was fantastic. There was so much more to show you. There was a massive Jo Malone section, um, lots of perfume counters, actually. It just felt very conspicuous to be <laughs> filming at this point. And so I just kind of showed you uh, the last few, few little bits. Um, and then I wanted to give you an overview of the store in general. It just is next level. I can't wait to come back with a friend and um, really take advantage of some of their services because it's just it's just a completely different shopping experience. And like I said at the beginning, it felt a lot like we were on holiday. It felt like we were gonna go back to a hotel and uh, potentially have to fly home. I realized that this is exclusive to Meadow Hall. So not everybody can get there. Um, obviously files are stocked online, but that's not really what it's about, is it? It's about the actual experience in store because most of these brands you could find online and you could probably find them for cheaper, let's be real. But it's the whole thing of going in and having that retail experience. And um, this is definitely somewhere that I'm excited to go back with a friend. Maybe we'll go for lunch and we'll kind of like have a wander around. Also, if you're in the area, Marks and Spencer just had a massive revamp of their food hall. And I feel like we haven't been to Meadow Hall for a few weeks. We went back and we're like, what is going on? Because between the new flannel store opening and the revamp of the Marks and Spencer food hall, I feel like we've got a Selfridges. It's really, really cool. Um, just to kind of just throw it out there, in the Marks and Spencer food hall, in the wine section, they've got an automated thing so you can test one of four bottles of wine. Who thinks of these things? Whoever they are, they're a genius. Um, and so we were just, you know, we were a bit giddy after Meadow Hall today. I just kind of wanted to share the Marks and Spencer love as well. But with flannels, I realise you can't get there necessarily if you live at a completely different area of the country, but I think it's worth visiting. And when I worked in Meadow Hall a long time ago, I do just quickly want to say, I'm not sponsored by Meadow Hall or flannels. I'm just really excited about this. Um, when I worked in Meadow Hall a long time ago, I've just noticed... I'm in the shade, but it is better than the alternative. When I worked in Meadow Hall a long time ago, and it would be like 11 years ago, I remember being told that it was a destination shopping center and I was like, because this has always been my local shopping center. It didn't seem particularly special, but apparently it's somewhere that people travel to in the same way that we would travel to the Trafford Center or to um, Birmingham Bullring, people travel to Meadow Hall, which seemed crazy to me because it's always just been Meadow Hall. Um, but the more and more they add things like this, the more I understand it is a destination shopping center. It is somewhere where someone like Flannels or a brand like Flannels would put in their flagship beauty hall because it's it's kind of up and coming and it's exciting and they've got some really cool stuff. So if you are considering a trip, I think it's really worth your time. Again, I do feel like I'm kind of on some kind of tourism board and I promise, I assure you I'm not affiliated with any of these brands. I would tell you if I was. I would love to be, but I'm not. Um, but I think after the past 18 months, you just kind of have to find a little bit of joy and happiness in the most ridiculous things. And this felt new and fresh and it kind of made me excited about makeup and stuff like that again because I was walking around like, oh, new things. I also haven't been to Boots or Superdrug in a while, so maybe that was like an itch I didn't even need, no one needed to be scratched. Um, but it, it just, it just was new and exciting. And I wanted to share my giddiness um, in a video. So hopefully this has been useful for those of you thinking of coming and hopefully it was just kind of like fun to watch for those of you who maybe won't be going to the store but wanted to see what it was all about. Because I know it is very, very area specific and very local to me. Um, but yeah, it was it was cool and we will be going back at some point. Uh, but I wasn't spending any money today because I'm trying to be good. I feel like I deserve some kind of medal because it was very, very tempting. <laughs>